Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Janelle Padilla. Coming up today, a fitness tracker that offers up some real-time feedback, the pine glass that forces you to take a social time out, and finally, a 3D printer for the kitchen. There's a whole host of new fitness tracking devices hitting the market, all with the ability to turn your movement into a bunch of numbers. And while it's nice to look at graphs of how many calories you burn, that doesn't tell you anything about the quality of your activity. That's where the move stands out from the rest. Paired up with an iOS app, it monitors how you exercise and offers real-time feedback through Siri designed to improve your form. From analyzing your running stride and impact force to telling you you hit like a girl, the move can be a multi-sport personal trainer. When the device ships this summer, it will also come with apps for cycling and swimming. And golf and yoga apps are also in the works. You can pre-order one for 70 bucks from the link below. One drawback to the interweaving of social media and our everyday lives, if you haven't noticed, is some pretty anti-social behavior. Well, a bar in Brazil decided to put a stop to all this with a very low-tech solution. They cut a wedge out of the base of each of their beer glasses, the exact size and shape of an iPhone. In order to rest a beer on the table, drinkers are forced to set down their handheld portals to the outside world. After the 11-month trial program, the bar reports a strong uptick in patrons developing real-world social lives. Unfortunately, overflowing suds have ruined dozens of smartphones, turning them into mere beer coasters. For those of you envisioning a future with push-button dinners straight from a food aracocycle, we sort of have some good news for you. A company called Natural Machines is putting the finishing touches on a 3D printer for food. The Foodini prints up gourmet creations from fresh ingredients loaded into food capsules, kind of like the ink cartridges in a regular printer. It can print cookies, ravioli, a wide range of delicate looking snacks, and even pizza. One drawback though, the ingredients have to be prepared and loaded into the printing capsules, and that could take some time, especially for ingredients that need to be cooked before printing. So maybe the Foodini isn't going to replace frozen pizzas anytime soon, but if you've got a thousand bucks and want to make some seriously artistic appetizers, check them out on Kickstarter. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.